One type of bug that you can have is a syntax error. So there are some strict rules that you need to follow when you're writing a Java program and breaking any of these rules will give you a syntax error. You can kind of think of it like, like English grammar where you need a period at the end of the sentence but in Java you need to have a semicolon at the end of a statement and a compiler will give you a message when you get a syntax error and the compiler tries to point you to the line of code where it thinks something went wrong and usually it's not always right but you may want to check the code above it and below it and it will at least point you in the right direction. Syntax errors are known as a type of compile time error since they are detected by the compiler. So in this class, syntax error demo, I'm going to demonstrate some syntax errors. So here's a very common syntax error. Hello world. So this is not this has no syntax errors. I didn't get any red X's and it prints out hello world, but if I remove the semicolon and I click save, it doesn't I can't run the program. Does, your program will not compile and it will not run if you do not get rid of all the syntax errors first. If it does appear that it's running, you're really just running a previous version of, of the class that you compiled earlier. So and it's telling you that syntax error insert semicolon to complete block statement. So sometimes it's smart and it determines that there's a semicolon missing. Then the error goes away and if this thing is lingering around and you want this to go away click save and it'll make the red it'll make the gray X go away another syntax error is maybe forgetting to put uh, quotation marks it has no idea what hello world is. is it thinks is it a is it a string is it a variable it doesn't know what's going on you need the quotation marks there to make it a string literal and you could also forget the parentheses maybe you put to have the left parenthesis but you forgot to close it that's another syntax error these are all examples of syntax errors. Other examples are maybe having your class name not match the name of your file. If we call our class syntax error demo, we want to make sure that it's the same case. We don't want to start it with lowercase s. That's another syntax error. And it says the type syntax error demo must be declared in its own file. That's because you didn't name it correctly. And it has to be a capital S. Java is case sensitive. You can have missing curly braces. Maybe you opened it here and you only have one curly brace right there. And this doesn't know, does it belong to the main method? Does it belong to the class? It doesn't know it's missing a curly brace. And it tells you that you should insert a curly brace to complete the class body. So it knew that the class one was missing. You could also forget to have the word class there another syntax error. So as you can see there's all kinds of ways that you can have syntax errors in your program and your program is completely useless until all these syntax errors are gone and your program runs and compiles error free and is able to produce results such as hello world like this program does.